Well, Sam, why is your chair like that? I th well, you know, you know the real reason? What's the real they reason? They actually shot the cricket show in here today. Merv Hughes, Sam in that uh, I swear to it, 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 it is true. Oh. Welcome to Total Football, a very, uh, very Christmas... Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this down with you. <laughs> Mr Summers, Mr no, Summers! <laughs> Sammy Nee. I'll, I'll, I'll be Ricardo Montalbano. <laughs> oh, no, we're not doing that Let's again. Do again. Please, no. Again. Do it again. Do it again. <sighs> Zip plane, zip plane. <laughs> That's all we have time for. We oh, will yes, see look, you. we've got, uh, we've got yes, a lot to get yeah, through tons tonight. To get through. We've got a special oh. guest coming up. Uh, we did. In the Tommy Urich. Yeah, Tommy, yeah. Just Tommy been, Urich. He's just been man of the match. Well, we've just seen that in the uh, Western Sydney Wanderers victory. So, I'm looking forward to talking to Tommy. Okay. Santo Chilaris. Yeah, I, can I just say? What, what? I know I'm down here at the kiddies, kiddies, <laughs> kiddies, table, kiddies table at a wedding, but the, this, <laughs> we're on late tonight, later this, time yeah, slot. Nine so, there's actually a warning. The following program will contain strong language, drunkenness, and nudity. All of which are contained in this clip from the Wellington Phoenix fans celebrating their big win over Sydney yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Good on you, Wellington. Well it's done. Uh... Hey, that's, that's why they have the warnings here. We did have this top. Safe to say that manscaping hasn't taken off in Wellington. No, no, no. Uh, I've got a Dulux colour chart because I'm repainting my house. Oh, and there's got to be a colour called... <laughs> Uh, like a, a Phoenix fluoro yellow, yeah, and I can't tell whether that's their torso or whether that's the colour of their shirt. But uh, <laughs> there's lots of news to get through, so yes. it's time for total news. Now, the big news, uh, of course, the big international news dominated the uh, uh, the news is uh, Luis Suarez. Uh, his massive news that's come overnight. It's gone. He's gone nine months without biting anybody. That's wow. good that's that's for Luis. But the, 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 his new the other the other thing that he's uh, he's announced that he has re-signed with. With, uh, Liverpool for $70 million over oh. four years. Here are some of the amazing things he's done in recent times. Yeah. Just to show how, how worth it is. Look at this. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is... That, that is that's, a, that's a brace. That's a brace. Yeah. That's a brace. He's versatile. On, he's good on both feet and he's great on both fangs. Ah. He's, he's yes. very, very there good. Go. All right. What news you got, Sammy? Good. I've got some news closer to home mm. and some sad news that Mark Bosnich and uh, Melbourne coach John Aloisi are involved in a bit of a spat. A, a stoush. A stoush. Well, it started on Saturday night. Here's uh, Bozza talking to John Aloisi after the uh, Hearts loss to the victory. When does it come a time when you actually think to yourself, look, you know, it might be time for me to consider, and I say consider, actually going to the club and say maybe it's time that I resign and then we have a change? Bozza, yeah, obviously don't know me well enough, mate. Uh, it's uh, 11 games into the season. Yeah, we're disappointed with our start to the season. I'm the man that can take this club forward. If the board think otherwise, then, you know, that's up to them. But um, I'm not going to quit. I've never been a quitter. Ooh, that's... Uh... I hate it when two legends of this sport in this country are fighting and Ed and I are wondering when you and Les Murray will patch up your differences. <laughs> <laughs> never. N never. Never. Uh, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> Yeah, he, he stole that hairstyle and he's not letting it go. <laughs> what I like, though, about... That's pretty tough stuff. But what I like, though, that it had no impact on the rest of the interview, in no. particular when Adam Peacock was signing off. After a mistake, and then we just tried to keep on going. John, we'll leave it there. Appreciate your time. Much appreciated. Yep. Thank you, John. <laughs> Whoa! John. That's another colour on my Dulux colour chart. That's okay. Aloisi... Dark mood. <laughs> That's a, a, sort of a reddish brown with like a bit of a five o'clock shadow. What a crazy looking house that you're painting, by the way. <laughs> uh, back to the EPL. The other, the other huge news, of course, uh, Cardiff City. Newly yes. promoted Cardiff City. Uh, now, th they, they went to Anfield uh, yes. on the weekend. And there's a lot of stuff happening. Their coach there, Mulkey Mackay, mm -hmm. he's being pressured by this guy. Their, uh, he's the Malaysian tycoon owner, Vincent Tan. Oh. And it's wonderful to see who the, um, the fans, are, the fans are siding with. It's actually a pretty big, a pretty big story. Very and big and you think their future is pretty uncertain. Very yeah. Who do you entrust your future to? Do you entrust it to this guy here? Yeah, OK. Or right. do you entrust it to this guy here? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough. Big, it's tough. It's a really it's line. It's a line ball. Big though, decisions to make sometimes. Big decisions yeah. you know, to make. Um, can I just see that? Can I just see that picture of Vincent Tan again? Just for just for a quick second. Quick, have a quick, quick, look, quick, look, quick look at it. I just want to have a quick look. Vincent is he Tan, there? The owner. Uh, he's, uh, he's a good looking man. He's oh, a very okay. good looking. That's okay, that's enough. Um, Sam. Oh, no. <laughs> just, a, just a quick. Look. No, no, just, no, no, nothing, nothing. Do you? Um, 
do you mind just putting this on? Just, just for a sec, just for a sec. Just Look, no, 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 just... Because it's Christmas, I'll do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And, uh, oh, that looks mind, nice. Do you that mind looks... on these glasses? Uh, just for a sec, I mean... All right, just... Anakin... <laughs> OK, can, um, um, I just, uh, but, you know, but... can we have a look at... Uh, <laughs> do that with your hands, please. <laughs> little teapot. <laughs> look what at that. that. <laughs> How's that look? Actually, just chuck this one in the middle. <laughs> oh, yeah. We didn't plan that at all. No, no we didn't plan sure that, that at all. that one come back to haunt me about four shows' time. No, okay. I think it's all time right. to get to A-League, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Time for the A-League. Yep. Uh, and uh, <laughs> here we go. Hey, excellent um, the game in North Sydney Oval. Nice to see games back there. And uh, unfortunate for Brisbane getting uh, beaten at home doesn't happen very often. Newcastle doing well. Mm, Funny bit of fault. Nice to that. see oh, the yes. Phoenix get a win, Sammy, Whoa. first of the season. Poor old Paddy Kisnorbo saw red early on in the big Melbourne derby and then it sort of went bad from, from bad to worse for the heart which was unfortunate because they were playing well yep. first 20 minutes Harry was having a very good game but um, well done to the victory there they're marching on the, and the heart goal that's I mean that sort of sums up their season just a face into the net you know? <laughs> yes. that was Four great things. great celebration there he just lay on the ground holding his face yeah, exactly. <laughs> he did. the Absolutely. Central Coast they're back on Thursday night though the Central Coast Mariners played uh, Wellington mm. and it was great to see uh, football back at uh, North Sydney Oval mm. and a uh, bit of a talking point was the surface yeah. Uh, if we can have a look at that there, that, there's a cricket pitch in the middle there. So the, <laughs> middle, the middle of the ground was rock hard was, uh, yes. due to the cricket pitch. I heard Robbie Slater talking about, you know, the impact that happened. I don't think it had a big impact on the game, but uh, Wellington did win the toss and decided to bat first. Yeah. <laughs> was, uh, not a good sign. I don't think it had a small fact, impact. The, comment, the commentary was done not by uh, Robbie Slater, but by Michael Slater. <laughs> <laughs> what a giveaway. And the, uh, the, 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 actually the pitch was uh, taking a little bit of turn after the 60th minute. <laughs> All right, I'll good get the last one out. It, uh, Actually, half time Wellington declared. Oh, all right. <laughs> Which was, uh, everyone was happy. And now we can move on. Um, the, 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 the derby was fantastic. Yeah, I, I really the enjoyed the derby. It was a pulsating game. And I'll yeah. tell you what, the pressure on John Aloisi is quite incredible. I mean, he had, had a player sent off in the, yeah. about the 20th minute. Yeah. They went a goal behind just yeah. before half time. There's no one barracking harder for him than us. No, I exactly. Uh, the John guy Alawisi. we love. He's, yeah. uh, Harry did a knee, yeah. uh, which who knows what's going to happen there. But still, he hung tough, didn't yeah, he? Absolutely. I mean, he was so stoic. He just was stoic, there. So stoic. He said, I'm not going to show anything on my no. face. No expression. I'm going to be poker faced, just like the guy behind me. <laughs> I'm not going to give anything away. <laughs> Nothing away. Just, <laughs> just professional. Hold still exactly right. right. Keep it professional. Hard poker face. <laughs> but the thing is, it got so emotional, right? That yeah. Even the guy behind him, okay? He tried oh. to hang tough. Tried, 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 tried to hang tried. tough. Tried. But eventually, the pressure <laughs> mounted. The pressure <laughs> mounted. <laughs> Couldn't he, he just couldn't watch? He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't watch. watch. Peaking. That was terrible. Isn't that overacting. Is that the <laughs> time for overacting mascot like work uh, when you're behind? When you're hey, behind can the we get a single shot on Sam for a sec? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sammy, you right. some new I want to stay with the derby and uh, actually, well, we've never done this before, mm -hmm. but it's now time for this. Okay, wow, Sammy, oh, that's right. Well, what have you got? For I, I did the text myself. Really <laughs> nicely. Yeah, looks fantastic. This, this, you know, we love. You know, it's uh, hey ref, what did I do? When what did I do? Yeah, what did I do? What did I do? Mm -hmm. Well, this week's winner is Patrick Gerhard from the heart for this tackle on Lee Broxham. Here he is now. Oh, okay. Oh, he gets oh. up. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? He look, looks pretty innocent, Santo and Ed. Look, yeah. he mustn't. Well, you know, this yeah. always acting. Looks he innocent knows. to me. Well, Patrick, you did this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think that was actually described as a leg breaker. Yeah, it was a leg breaker, and uh, they almost got a screen out and put Lee Broxham down. Yeah, after that's that. it. So, um, <laughs> tough stuff. Very tough stuff. Tough. Well, well done. Pat, congratulations. Just Patrick, you're our winner. Congratulations. Our inaugural winner. Well, quickly, on a, on a serious note, you do have to spare a thought for the Wellington Phoenix, particularly the strikers and Jeremy Brocky. This happened to him last week. I mean, this, they're calling this miss of the season. Uh, he wanders in, over it goes. Thankfully, oh. the same thing didn't happen to him this week. Because, yep, yeah, oh. that's... Oh. That is From the other angle, you see it's not his fault. The ball took a bounce. It yeah, bounced. you know, that doesn't yeah. normally... Ha oh, that's... <laughs> that's ugly. That's that is terrible. not what All right, you want. but all's well that ends well, Ed. Yes, it is, and the yeah. Wellington Phoenix, congratulations. The drought is over. Hey, they funny. won their they first game. game. It's the, of course, we're 11 games in. This goes back to round 25 of last season, which is March 17, earlier this year. Oh and so they had their first win. That's a long time to wait. So let's just celebrate Wellington Phoenix breaking their drought. Fernandes for Hosigans. Stane Hosigans round the keeper. Hosigans! <laughs> Tommy Urich live. There we are.
Block from Sarkin, Yerich! Back for the bang! Heavily involved tonight with left back. Sturjowski, what a touch that is! Chance here! And the clearance! Use the option of Ono and the trap in! That is brilliant! Tell you what! He's given away the free kick here. Central coach back is just, he's gone up about 10 feet. Oh, no. yeah. This is about right. I think. Are, you, are you two people sitting on top of each other <laughs> down there? Hey, uh, we will be catching up with uh, Tommy Urich, man of the match, in just yes. a few moments. What a cracker of a goal that he well, got. Well, speaking of crackers. Oh. Well, are we doing this now? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, <laughs> it's so much rehearsal goes into this. Show. It's Christmas, right? It so is I've, Christmas. I've got yeah. Sam's too. Christmas crackers here, right? Oh, so Sam's we'll Christmas just do. Crackers. Uh, We'll do this one here. Okay, this, well, okay we can do oh, it. This yeah. is exciting television. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, oh, that's a bad result because. Yeah. Do, do I oh, you this? got oh, the joke? Oh, here we go. Because there's a joke in it always. What you know? joke did you get, Sam? All right. If you've got six foot mm. and you take away three foot, what have you got? What have you got? Two. Massimo Docker. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're not all great. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh,. Keep going with the crackers? Yeah, well, let's have another one. We're enjoying our really? Yeah, well, let's Actually, enjoying no, I, got, I think I might, yeah. Give okay. me a go. This one? Right, yeah. Ready? Oh, look, I oh, got a yeah. joke. <laughs> Here we go. What do... Uh, what does JFK assassin Lee Harvey Oswald and <laughs> Michael Mifsud have, co- have in common? What? They both have two shots on target so far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let's now, and on that note, <laughs> so get joined by the man of the man. Tommy Urich from the Western Sydney Wanderers. Tommy Urich in the house. Hey, Tommy, uh, thank you for joining us. Firstly, great to see you back on the park. And what a cracking goal you scored. Was it nice to be out there? Uh, yeah, um, you know, I had a, had a tough rehab. Um, it was a difficult time for me. So, um, yeah, to, to get back on the pitch and at home at, at <laughs> Perth Tech Stadium, um, you know, it's fantastic. And, you know, to get on the score sheet, you know, it's just, it's just even better. It's a lot better. Excellent. Fantastic. And, Tommy, uh, people do talk you up a bit. They say you're on the fringes of the Socceroos. How much thought goes into your mind? Do you actually think about selection for 2014 World Cup? Um, not really, to be honest. Um, I just try and uh, focus on uh, each game uh, here at the Wanderers. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure if I, I take it a game at a time and, um, you know, produce the results on the pitch with the Wanderers that, um, you know, who knows, maybe... Uh, you know, call up is is on the cards. Yes. Fantastic. He's a young man, and he's already saying one game at a time. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's good good work. Good. Now, uh, Tommy, congratulations. After the game, I've noticed that uh, your goalkeeper Ante Kovic got to speak to uh, Tara Rushton, and uh, you got our show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Uh, just the, the big question: um, What colour dress do you think Tara was wearing tonight, Tom? I um, wasn't paying much attention, to be honest. Well, oh, Tommy, come on. That's another cracking question for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm famous for him, Tom. He's on fire. All right, Tommy Urich, mate, well played tonight, and thank you for your time. We are very much looking forward to seeing you for the rest of the season. Well done, mate. Thank Good you luck, very much. Good luck. Thank you for joining us. Guys, um, oh, yeah. so it was, it where was, do we go from here? It was here? a very exciting week. Uh, it was uh, FA Cup second round. Oh, week, okay. we're yeah. down to the and last 360? I, I, <laughs> no, I think we're down to the last 399. OK. okay. Uh, what did you Craw- watch, young man? I watched the replay of Crawley Town versus Bristol Rovers. Replay. The first match, surprisingly, was nil all. Wow. So they had to re- repeat it. <laughs> that was the crowd figure. OK, no. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on, Sam? Look, now, let's say it was poor conditions. Even even by even though in Crawley this oh was considered God. balmy, but look at the rain. Even the mascot was getting uh, yeah, water that... logged. <laughs> that you could hardly see what was going what on. Was there going... was water on the lens. Uh, there was a gale blowing in the direction. This yeah. is the Bristol Rovers keeper clearing the ball out of his penalty area <laughs> all the way back into his own <laughs> penalty area. <laughs> And you think that on these nights, the ball boys, it's a very, very special night. Oh, Look at the poor kid. <laughs> He's just there, this night of nights. Isn't he having a fantastic time? time? The weather did not get any better. In the second half, Crawley keeper kicks out, yep. goes into the stand. Nobody moves at all. The guy's trying to find <laughs> Where's the ball boy? He's gone. <laughs> the guy has to get the ball inside. Oh, my God.
God, Santa. And thankfully, in the 78th minute, they just called the game off. <laughs> put it out of its misery. They just, they just put it out of its misery. I don't know whether it was because of the weather or just because of how sad it was. But, yeah, absolutely. Um, there is just one piece of advice. Spot, yeah. Th yes, if anyone is going to Crawley Town to set up a business, mm -hmm. let's say you want to set up a snack bar, mm -hmm. make sure you've got a corner location. <laughs> <laughs> location, a corner location, location. Okay. <laughs> Did you see the girl? She actually left. She, yeah. she actually yeah. abandoned she just put up a sign saying, just please take anything you want. <laughs> what did that, you watch, Sam? Well, they're not as good. That's, that game looks much better than mine. I watched Mansfield versus Oldham Athletic. Okay. And uh, it was uh, Mansfield um, were up 1-0. And then Oldham Athletic just went bang and 4-1. And, uh, uh, so they're going through. They meet Liverpool in the next round. Wow. But this goal here by Johnson Clark Harris, you know, in some celebrations, they, you know, they're, they're kind of... Uh, well, some are more dangerous than others, put I it that know, way, especially if you're a kid in the front row. Why don't yeah. So he scores the goal. Yeah. Get, first guy fine, and then... Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look this at one that, here. That's what... Oh. <laughs> that is I sensational. Just, I, don't, I just wanted to show that, really. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's time now for my favourite segment, oh, yeah. and it's called... We watched it, so, so you, you didn't, didn't have, have to. to. That wasn't the Crawley game? You watched something it's worse? Really, uh, guys, no, guys no. you underestimate how low I can go. <laughs> Where did in you fact, go? Where did you in go? Fact, forget about Fox Sports, forget about ESPN. Oh. I've gone into the uncharted waters of Eurosport. Oh, no. Yes, I didn't yeah. even have that on my package. Was, hey, it, hey. was it a biathlon? <laughs> no, no, there was Some no curling, biathlon going on. Ski jump? I watched the International Table Soccer Federation World Cup. Did you know? Okay, this oh is... Oh, my God. God. <laughs> you know it's sad when you've got these guys playing. It was uh, the USA versus uh, Austria. Oh, wow. And it is pretty amazing. They've got two refs. I don't know. They've got two refs. Well, two what, 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 there's never a substitution. No, there's no, there's, there's never that? an offside. There's never a tackle. <laughs> Somehow they've got two refs. Did anyone... That blue team's got to stop playing a zone, though, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that was uh, kind of a bit... Uh, Kind of got a bit boring because they kept on playing the same two-five-three formation. Yeah, no one. They just, they just, they just didn't it change it at all. No one's mixing it up. And uh, I did notice this during the game that uh, they've got two referees, but when they lose the ball, they've got they've got no ball boys. Yeah. <laughs> and that guy actually did do both his hammies bending down for that. So, uh, or maybe like they a... do have a ball boy, but maybe he's just a plastic guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you, the, you know, the, you got more? Really? Well, no, no. I was just going to say, I was just gonna say the the amazing thing about it's on Eurosport. It's yes. table soccer, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know who does the post-match interviews? No, 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 no way. I, he does. No, he d I'm telling you, he does oh, do them. Fox he does. Sport. He does. Thanks, boys. I've got the man of the match from the blue side with me now. How did you think your team went today? Are you happy with the performance? <laughs> you think you can defend better to win this tournament? Can I talk to one of your mates? All right. How about you? Do you think you can go all the way? All right, that's it from here, boys. Back to you in the studio. Oh, he's good. Oh, he gets everyone. That is that is that is that is we will be back with more Total Football right after this. Special We've got a very special guest from the English Premier League coming right up. There we are. Yes. Snappers. <laughs> we'll look to put it back inside the penalty area. Next second away at the ball. Right, break in with a flash and close range off the post. The mess inside that six yard box. Can anybody put it in? The clearances are hitting their own players. That's a real scramble. Look at this. Still Charlton can't get it anywhere near the goal. Taylor's looked away from goal and the shot is away. Wow. Welcome back to uh, Total Football. And if you enjoyed that uh, goal mouth Kimball play, yeah. that was a game between Morecambe and Cheltenham Town in League Two. Oh, yeah, and Cheltenham won 1-0, uh, yep. and they got a free game at the end of it. So Excellent work. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, yeah. it is now time for a very special guest. Uh, he's made now one of the world's highest paid footballers. Yep. Controversial, but always wonderful. Uh, Liverpool striker Luis Suarez. And Luis, uh, thank you for joining us, and congratulations on the new contract. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias, gracias. New gracias. contract, Louis. Mm. 70 million over mm. four years. Mm. What exactly does that mean to you? It means 70 million dollars over four years. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, in football terms, though, mm. do, you, do you see it as something other than 70 million dollars over four years? Oh, yes, oh, of course. I see it as $360,000 a week <laughs> over four years. Right, okay. Uh, right, well, let's move on. What would you like to say to your fans at Liverpool? Oh. I'm on 360,000 <laughs> a week. OK, and that's it? Yeah, over four years. OK, <laughs> well, look, look, what are you going to spend uh, all that money on, Louise? Dental work. <laughs> 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 
March Dental Wax. Yeah, no, March. Lloyd, can, Lloyd can, uh, can Liverpool fans be sure that you'll stay for all those four years? Oh, oh, of course. Why would I bite the hand that feeds me <laughs> when I can bite the arm of my opponent any day? No, no, no. I stay. And I tell each and every one of my supporters, I make $360,000 oh, yeah, yeah. a week over four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my Liverpool fans. Yeah. <laughs> I love my Liverpool fans. Yeah, yeah. Come on, all right, Louis, calm down. Keep your teeth in. <laughs> I love yeah. my Liverpool, Liverpool fans. Yeah. And they love me. Yeah. Here, another one. Come on, come on. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm, I give my signature. OK. Oh. Ah, no, no, Louis. No. Oh, oh, let's go. Now, let's see what's going on. Let's get your teeth right. It's still there. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, it Lord. tastes good. Oh, yeah. Salt Always. and vinegar. <laughs> Always before uh, before you go, two yeah. biting. I'm incidents. not going. I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> two biting incidents yeah. and an ugly racial mm. slur on mm. Patrice Evra. Mm. Have you put all that behind you? Hey, I don't answer questions from Japanese. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, all right, Louis. All right, Louis. Well, look, Louis. Louis, thank you for your time. Do you have a? Don't clap him. He's yeah. terrible. Do you have a Christmas message for all your fans? Yes. I make three hundred. Oh, all right, thank you, Louis. Thank you. A week. All right, yeah, goodbye, Louis. Goodbye. Four years. Four years. Thank years. you, Louis Suarez. Lovely to have you on board. How about that, Ed? Wow. What about the big guests we get? Whoa. Louis Suarez, all the way from Liverpool. Uh, quite an amazing get. And, I mean, uh, I thought we were speaking to Jerry Lewis then that for a second. Was, uh, <laughs> truly unbelievable. <laughs> what? Look at, hang on, look at this. The poster cogwheel is like Superman. He goes in, Louis Suarez. And, he comes out, hey. Santo Chilaro. Wow. Hey, Santo. Yeah. What? Just remember, it's Christmas time. Yeah, it is Christmas. Okay. What? What have you got? And, uh, people are looking for gifts. People are looking for they the per are. perfect Christmas gift, and yeah. they don't realise that we have official total football memorabilia. What have we got? No, no. We're, we're, uh, what we're offering is the hug. Okay, <laughs> that's what we've got. <laughs> We've got the hug, OK? Yeah. <laughs> it's reliving one of the most memorable moments it's we've had so here. So memorable. How, how many... I think that picture should be bigger, that one in the middle. How many, uh, how many, how many are there, Santo? Oh, I don't... I think there'd be a couple, just a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you it's, get? Well, it's, it's for $144 or Whoa. $36 over four years. <laughs> Is my maths right? I hope. I don't know. No. Um, you get this. You get a special uh, one of our special moments here. Yeah. You get a, a hug, and it's, uh, signed? it's the, well, signed. It's signed by yeah. this is this is the live studio show there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the stu live yeah, studio yeah, show yeah, is there. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the the sketch the coach sketch is there. Yeah. And it's signed by Sam Pang here yeah. and Ange Postecoglou there. Yeah. And if the High Court uh, goes uh, yeah, well, sure, yeah. they'll get the the marriage celebrant. Oh, that's really nice. nice. <laughs> well, make sure you pick up one of those from your uh, your local. Retail. Yeah. And there'll be a new uh, bit of uh, merchandise for the longest joke ever on Total <laughs> Football. That's about that it is. for us. We've got to th say thank you to Tommy Urich. Well done to him. Thank you to Louis Suarez. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see you Merry next Christmas. week on Total Football. <laughs>